I had to go and, you know, look for a house. And at the time, you know, you can tell really in a hurry when people haven't been in Los Angeles very long, they'll say, oh, why do you live in Watts? Well, Watts was the community that you could buy a house with dignity. Watts was a place where all the new homes were being built. And across Maine, at that time, it was so, it was the silent discrimination. If you went across Maine, a minority, whether you're black, Hispanic, or whatever, you go across Maine to buy a house, they didn't say you couldn't do it because it, the law wouldn't allow, but they triple the price. So they knew you couldn't afford it. So that's why a lot of people bought in Watts, and this was not a black community. This run, community was run by Italians and Japanese. Mr. Uh, Rodia, the one that built the Watts Towers, he was Italian. But it was, a, <clears throat> it was a beautiful community. People cared about each other. They lived in peace, they, they worked with each other, they respected each other. That's why I refused to leave here. Uh, after the Watts arrived, we went through hell here because everybody pointed a finger. You would think we were all out there hauling couches on our back. And, but the neighbors who lived here and worked here and bought homes here, they had no part of that, but we had to pay for it. And we're still paying for it. In a hidden way, we're still paying for it, but I refuse to go anywhere until I'm ready to go.